What's up everybody guys and welcome back to me and my tutorial. I'm gonna make a three animation uh, of like a DMX beam like this uh, using of course touch designer. So if you watch the, uh, this like a tutorial until the end, you will get the, how we can like uh, make a, like a customizable like a dynamic or like a animation with like a top and then you can maximize the touch designer's potential. So it's super super powerful. So also like you can download uh, the sample file from my Patreon. So if you're interested, let's check it out. So first, uh, I'm gonna do uh, like a setup like a DMX. First, uh, I'm gonna connect the DMX uh, interface. And you can see I'm gonna connect the Ethernet. So uh, the plug the Ethernet to my laptop. And also, I'm gonna Ethernet uh, to the uh, Artnet device. So the like DMX uh, cable. Okay, so this is the uh, this cable. And you can see the port subnet is a zero and the port net zero. And here transmit mode is like out net to the DMX. So now you, I can send it from the out net to the ETM. Okay, perfect. The DMX uh, light I'm using uh, is like Oposk uh, beam light. So which uh, has a, like a 48 channel mode. So that is allow us to uh, control uh, all like LED and then I set the uh, set the like address the for first one is like 001 and the channel is 48 and the second one channel is 48 and also address is uh, address is 049 uh, because like uh, the address means the first channels uh, of the like each DMX uh, beams you need to connect the DMX cable to the DMX in of the, uh, the DMX beams and then you also need to connect the, like a power so let's see how it works like briefly so I'm gonna add the constant and then uh, the channels uh, is a uh, I'm gonna change the uh, samples so samples uh, sample is 49 and I'm gonna use the shuffle uh, to <coughs> change the uh, channel from the samples so I'm gonna use uh, split all uh, samples and then you need to know uh, the, the range of the DMX is at 0 to uh, 255 so now uh, I can only change that you know like at 0 to 1 so that's why I'm gonna use like mass to 255 so and then next I'm gonna use a uh, DMX out and then so you can use like a uh, DMX interface so uh, if you don't know about the like DMX inter interface, uh, you can check uh, my previous video. I already uh, explained about the, what is the uh, DMX interface. I'm using like this device. So you can uh, check the, the link uh, of the, this device uh, from the uh, previous video. And then, so I already set up uh, to change the uh, setup like uh, change the uh, like transmit mode or subnet net universe so now like uh, i'm uh, good to go so let's uh let's change the constant to 0 to 1 so like that you can see the uh you can see and also i'm gonna uh, copy and paste and then i'm gonna add the merge and then convert uh i'm gonna connect the merge here so now I can uh, eliminate uh, two chan uh, two DMX. Okay, cool. Okay, this is like a basic uh, the basic like explanation. So I'm gonna go with like a more like authentic animation. So let's uh, I'm gonna add the constant and then I'm gonna add the channel. The first one is lows. And second one is like a number of the beams. Wait a second. And then lows uh, means like how many lows are in the beams. So Opposk DMX has like eight lows, and I'm gonna use like two beams, and then so I'm gonna make the uh, blink like animation like that. So I'm gonna add the constant. So the first one, uh, first I need to do is like a change the resolution. So I'm gonna add the, uh, I'm gonna change the, uh, the I'm gonna drag and drop to the lows to the Y and the number of beams to the and then what i'm gonna do is like uh, i'm gonna have the clock and change the pixel pixel pick pixel and the first one is like a zero the left clock left is zero and light is one and i'm gonna have the no 
Then the Osama got out the top two. And then we don't need to use alpha. And then Klopp is like full image. And then I'm gonna have the yellow as well. And let's see here. And let's uh, 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 deconnect the to the mass. And then we touch the one. So now, uh, so you can see uh, the this the light uh, map. We can like map the like this top uh, to the DMX. But it's a little bit uh, weird because uh, the light, the only left side uh, of the lights is uh, illuminated. The, the light uh, light side doesn't work because uh, so this chop only has a 24 channel. So to do that, I'm gonna uh, add the merge and then now 24. So I'm gonna connect again from the uh, top two. So now you can see story work. So okay, so we need to do uh, same thing for uh, second one. So we can copy, uh, copy and paste, but it's not dynamic. So uh, I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is like, uh, I'm gonna uh, select all of them and the light quick close select. So and then we can like uh, make a kind of comp. And then so I'm gonna call it the beam beam zero. Then I'm gonna add the lubricator. And then operate master operator should be this one, and then change the name is beam, and by table to the by number, and the number is gonna be a uh, this one, and not the spot, uh, chop refines, and uh, this value minus one, and then we can see here, so we can change the uh, location of the node, okay, like that. So and then let's go dive into this one. So we need to change the code because uh, everything now is like a cell one. Uh, should be dynamic. So I'm gonna add the parent dot the digits, and then I'm gonna copy and paste and the plus one. Plus one. So that uh, we can <coughs> clop the zero to one. And then what is the parent dig digit? So digits is a this number. So now it's a zero. So if I like uh, click this one. So you can dive into here. So now you can see parent digits is it's a one right now. And then uh, I'm gonna add the merge. So I'm gonna connect to here. So now you can see <coughs> story mode. So now we want to like do animation. So to do that, like uh, we want to do always like you know audio reactive or something like that. So I'm gonna use a beat and the period is one and output is uh, also like turn on the account output and I'm gonna add the select and the user uh, lamp and I'm gonna add the new so from the constant I'm gonna add the level so I'm gonna change the brightness uh, with uh, a bit uh, to point so like that but now the animation is a little bit boring because it's linear so we want to add the easy ease out to do that I'm gonna add the lookup and I'm gonna press S curve and connect to here. So it's more like we need to change the spot. Chart. So and then if I adjust the parameter here, so it's more like a, it's more like it's in ease out. Okay, now animation is cool. So now you want to uh, change the color line. So uh, I'm gonna add the uh, constant, you no know, multiply here. And also I'm gonna add the constant uh, top. And then I'm gonna uh, change the combine with input to set only, uh, set the resolution only. And I'm gonna connect the multiply. And the fifth layer should be input. So uh, if you change the color, voila. So you can uh, change the, the color uh, with this one uh, depending on the animation. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, so, so like you can add the easing or like you can like uh, more like flexible for the color. Uh, so that's why like touch in is really cool for the like DMX. So, but now it's a, you know, like a kind of simple. So we go with like a, this animation. Okay. So, uh, second one, I'm gonna use like a GLSL. And the first thing we need to do is like a change of resolution. And X is like a normal beam. And the Y is uh, loss. And then I'm gonna add the vector. Uh, one with like U, wait, hit the uh, So I'm gonna uh, write uh, some like function, uh, some like a code for in the uh, GLSL. So, so to use like a U fade both, 
post so we uh you need to use like you fade post in the gl cell uh so i need to use uh, i need to specify the this name so you uh fade post and then so i'm gonna delete uh, the like first line and i'm gonna like the back three uh uh fade uh, color uh equal uh back three uh one point zero uh multi multiply step uh parenthesis uh v u v dot t so t is like a v position and then like h is a uh, u fade us so that like uh, the v position if the v position uh less than like u fade pose so it's gonna be one and then so you the v t v position uh, more than like a fade pulse so for example like more than uh, 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 to like a 1 uh, will be like a 0 so and then I'm gonna copy the fade pulse hold on I'm gonna copy the fade pulse and paste it here and I'm gonna the come come uh, like this one so now uh, we can you know like make the kind of like so if you I change the like here or you can uh, make the you know like a fading and also like uh, i i'm gonna uh, i'm uh, recommend to use like a nearest pixel nearest pixel so okay uh and then like uh, we want to like uh, change the like uh, uh this one like uh, individually so that like uh, we need to make another uh, glsl so to do that i'm gonna use uh, like a replicator as well and then so for example i'm gonna call it like a fade zero okay yes to all and I'm gonna add the uh, drag and drop to the master operators and prefix like a fade, uh, fade. And then the number uh, I'm gonna change by number. And the number of replicant will be number of the beams minus one. So now we can make the two, two so where we is called. So now it's here. So I change the layout. Come, come here, come here. Okay, cool. Uh, so. And also, like I change the resolution you know, of the X to V1, and do that. So uh, if I click on the O, so you, we can uh, make the two uh, GL cell. So okay. So uh, let's uh, uh, apply the like beat to the like fade pose. So I'm gonna use select and the copy and paste. And now I can use the count. Also, I'm gonna copy and paste of the lump. Okay. And then from the count, I'm gonna add the limit. And then this is loop and linear zero. And then maximum is like uh, this uh, <coughs> num beams. So that the count is like zero one zero. So next I'm gonna use the fun. And then <coughs> now it's like a channel one to eight. But uh, we want to do like a channel one one to a uh, number of the beams. So I'm gonna use this one, and then so chan uh, uh, this parenthesis and one. And, uh, I don't know how to say English. Uh, and then like plus. Uh, okay. Oop. Uh, constant. See. Maybe uh, will be like a, a little bit like different uh, with uh, your name, but you need to specify this name. Okay. Constant three uh, dot. Uh, dot uh, value one uh, should be int first uh, should be uh, a string and then after that plus be a string of uh, character of the uh, parenthesis so now you can see that like only one two one two then I'm gonna add the multiply no math and then connect it here and the combine chops will be like a multiply so now you can uh, make the, like a math uh, two like a uh, channels like that is like going up from the zero to one. Uh, so I'm gonna use a no, and I'm gonna call it like a fade uh, about fade uh, value, and then go to the GLSL and the U fade post. So here it should be up. Uh, the name is fade value and parenthesis uh, me dot digits. Okay, and then you need to click on the uh, recreate all operators. 
one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, cool. And after that, I'm gonna add the layout, and connect this one. And then left to right, okay, and set the resolution. And change the nearest pixel, uh, use input. So now you can see there one, there one, there one. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I'm gonna organize uh, this one a little bit, change the this one as well. So after level, so I'm gonna add the switch and also organize it. And if I connect uh, this one to the switch, so we can change the animation. So let's let's uh, change the one and change the uh, switch to the one. Cool, right? Okay, cool. So this animation is like uh, the the kind of same with uh, like a fade, but uh, you can like uh, make the like a band. So which is more like you know speedy and cool. So I'm gonna copy and paste the fade zero. So but change the name to fade band zero. Okay. So I'm gonna add the new uh, vector. So U width. This is a band width. And open the GSL. Okay. So I just changed the first like fade color. So I'm gonna uh, add the like multiply. So one. Uh, minus step uh, v uv dot t uh, u uh, fade pose minus uh, u width but we didn't add the u width so I need to add, uh, add the u width to so uniform uh, float u and the width is uh, 1 so I'm gonna change the like 0 0.2 so like that dun, 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 dun. okay cool so uh, I will do the same thing for it. So I'm gonna make the like uh, replicators. So I'm gonna uh, drop, drop here. And the operator fix is like a fade band. And where is my fade band? So I'm gonna uh, change the layout origin. Okay, like that. Boom, 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 boom. And then if I add the layout, so I'm gonna co copy and paste. And then, so I'm gonna connect like that. First one is this one, second one is this one. Like that. So if you want to change that, you know, like a, uh, you know, like a direction, so you can change the light. Too. Now it's just two, it's kind of same. But if you add the, like a three or four uh, more animation, uh, more like beams, it's gonna be really different. So uh, I'm gonna connect the, to the switch. And then if you change the switch, so now you can change the animation. Example, like you with this one and O. Oh, uh, and I need to connect here. Yeah, go, cool. go, 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 go. So that's kind of like a uh, basic, uh, like knowledge of the, like making animation with the top. So you can, you know, like uh, make more like a crazy one. So you can use like a noise. You know, you can use like a, you know, like a movie filing. You know, movie filing, video device, anything like that. So that's why Touch is is super great for the DMX like performance. So next one, like, uh, it's more for like a, uh, like a live. So uh, I'm gonna go about uh, controlling the animation uh, by like a MIDI controller, like a launch pad. So I'm gonna use a launch pad. Uh, so if you're interested in like check out the, like uh, this video. And then if you're interested in more flexible for the complex DMX light design, check out my perfect controller for DMX show. Uh, that you can download the Patreon standard member and also like you can see how it works uh, inside of the touch designer because I put the all knowledge of the touch designer uh, into this control system so it's gonna be a really really good resource to learn it. So thank you for watching my tutorial I'm always appreciate my Patreon uh, supporters to keep up the motivation. Thank you so much. As a return, I share my sample files and my other develop. Also, I answer your questions with high priority. So, uh, my Patreon is like uh, the link of the link is in the description. So let's check it out. So if you have any like a request or questions, so leave the comment below. Oh, thank you so much and bye.